Hi everyone, welcome to the RPB Resonance Chemistry. Now let us continue our lectures on electrochemistry, particularly lecture number 3. In previous video, I had uploaded a, like a, based on the conductance and those related terms, molar conductance, equivalent conductance, resistance, specific conductance, ohms, law, those are the related terms of the electrolytic conductance. Now, in this lecture, we will discuss about um, like a relationship between the molar and equivalent conductance and factors which are influences on the like electrolytic conductance. So before going to the factors which are influences on the electrolytic conductance, now we will discuss the like relationship between the lambda m and the lambda equivalent. Okay. So now that that is nothing but molar conductance versus uh, equivalent conductance. In previous video we will discuss we will represent the molar conductance in these terms. So uh, these are the which is also represent the term like uh, lambda m. Lambda m indicates the molar conductance. Lambda equivalent indicates the equivalent conductance. Equivalent conductance. Now let us discuss the those uh, relations. Now lambda m is equal to kappa into thousand by molarity. Now the lambda equivalent is equal to kappa into thousand by normality. So this is the first equation. This is the second equation. From one and two. From one and two. So one is divided by the two. So now lambda m by lambda equivalent is equal to kappa into 1000 by m by kappa into 1000 by n. So now here kappa kappa cancel, 1000 1000 cancel. So now lambda m by lambda equivalent weight is equal to so normality by molarity which is, appears like this 1 by m by 1 by n. So here it is a by b by b by uh, c by d that is belongs to the a by b into d by c. So now we will get the 1 into n by 1 by m, 1 into n by 1 into m that is nothing but uh, n by m. Okay, so this is the another equation. It may be like represents the equation number three. Okay, now we know that uh, the formulas of molarity. So here weight by molecular weight into thousand by volume in milliliters. Uh, uh, similarly, weight by equivalent weight into thousand by volume in milliliters. Volume in milliliters. These two values are substituted in the equation number 3. So now we will get the lambda m by lambda equivalent weight is equal to so normality is equal to weight by equivalent weight into 1000 by volume in ml. So here this is the normality. By molarity is equal to weight by molecular weight into 1000 by volume in ml. So here 1000, 1000 cancel, volume in ml cancel, weight, weight also cancel. Now we will get the lambda m by lambda equivalent weight is equal to molecular weight by equivalent weight. Molecular weight by equivalent weight. So now we know that uh, equivalent weight definition. So here it is the equivalent weight is equal to molecular weight by z factor. So here it is the z factor. So we know that uh, z value, so z factor value. So z for acids. So here for acids, the basicity simply basicity is nothing but z value basicity is nothing but z value let, let us uh, example so hcl hbr hi these are the acids which having the only one uh, one h plus that is nothing but basicity of corresponding acid so here z is equal to one so in case of h2so4 h2co3 those type of acids here it is uh, pronounced by the two protons last for the two protons that is the basicity z is equal to two now h h3po4 here z is equal to three Okay, these are the like acid, uh, like uh, Z values for acids. Now similarly, Z values for bases, that is uh, acidity. So the number of OH minus ions are transferred. So in case of NaOH or KOH, those type of acids, Z is equal to 1. So MgOH taken twice here, Z is equal to 2. So ALOH taken twice here, Z is equal to 3. Z is equal to 3. So in case of uh, like salts, so the number of electrons are transferred. The number of electrons are charge on the ion uh, which is the highest charge on the ion so that is like Na, NaCl here Na plus and Cl minus so highest charge on the ion is Z1 that is that's why Z is equal to 1 so in case of MgCl2 here it can dissociate it into Mg plus 2 and 2 Cl minus so here highest charge is equal to 2 that's Z value is equal to 2 these are the Z values now let us substitute these value in above equation lambda M by lambda equivalent is equal to molecular weight by so molecular weight by z so that means here it is one so whenever which uh, equation it seems to be a by b by c by d this is for normal students a by b into d by c so whenever the bottom fraction will rip, uh, will reverse it that means uh, d by c here molecular weight by one into 
जेड बै मालिकुलर वेट जेड बै मालिकुलर वेट हिर् मालिकुलर वेट मालिकुलर वेट कैनसल ना वो विल गेट दि वैल्यू इज ईक्वल टू जेड सो लैमडा एम बै लैमडा इक्वल वेट इज ईक्वल टू जेड सो दिस इज दि फॉर्मुले विच इज आलो रिप्रेजेंट एज मोलार कंडक्टेंस इज ईक्वल टू जेड इन टू इक्वल कंडक्टेंस जेड इन टू इक्वल कंडक्टेंस आर इक्वल कंडक्टेंस इज ईक्वल टू लैमडा एम बै जेड lambda m by z these are the ready made formulas regarding to the our molar and uh, equivalent conductance relation interrelation okay sometimes they are asking about uh, like uh, uh, they are given in the molar conductance and find the equivalent conductance let us assume here they are in the like h2so4 solution so they are given in the molar conductance approximately 10 we don't want to uh, like represent the, those units so let us assume that here it is the simplest example so then find the lambda equivalent weight we don't know the direct formula uh, we don't know the relation between them then we will go through the like a complete derivation of these equations so that's why so we need some somewhat tricks now here i'll give the ready made formula ready made uh, item so now here it is the ready made formula so now here lambda equivalent weight is equal to lambda m by z so here uh, lambda m is equal to 10 by 2 that is equal to the 5 okay why because here the normality the normality value which is nothing but equivalent weight equivalent weight is nothing but molecular weight by z factor equivalent weight is equal to molecular weight by z factor these are the like relationship between the molar as well as equivalent conductance molar as well as equivalent conductance now let us discuss the factors which are influences on the like a uh, corresponding electrolytic conductance okay now let us discuss the factors which are influences on the like a uh, conductance so here the factors so the uh, factors interionic uh, interionic uh, attractions now the second factor is polarity third factor is viscosity the fourth factor is uh, like a uh, temperature now the fifth factor is dilution now we will discuss the each and every factor uh, very detailedly but uh, we will concentrate uh, concentrated on the dilution factor so which is a very important topic regarding to the je mains advanced the meet as well as a, a gate questions uh, so recently they are given in the like uh, one of the csr question also okay so that's why let us discuss these problems uh, these factors uh, with a uh, suitable examples now the first one is interionic interionic attractions the first factor is inter ionic attractions okay now if in the molecule like a uh, in case of any vessel it is a any any it is a vessel it which having the solution okay so in case of electrochemistry we don't want to use the solution here it is the solution is nothing but electrolyte electrolyte now here it is the electrolyte so here electrolyte having the solute and as well as the sol solvent particle so now inter ion attraction will be more like a positive and negative so inter ion attraction will be more that means the movement of ions the movement of flow is more so the flow of uh, uh, flow of ions is nothing but conductance we know that uh, in previous video we have discussed the conductance definition is flow of the electricity flow of the ions that is nothing but uh, conductance now here in between the attraction between the ions will be more inter ionic attractions will be more conductance automatically is more so inter ionic attractions will be more than conductant conductivity or conductance also more conductance also more that is if uh, inter ionic attractions increases then conductance increases that is the first factor now the second factor is polarity so we know that uh, more polar compounds having the greater ionization greater ionization that means uh, it is readily dissociated into further particles like uh, if more polar having the more acidic protons more acidic protons are more acidic derivatives so, okay those type of compounds readily give their uh, more acidic protons okay now here more polar compounds more polar compounds having the greater ionization factor greater ionization so if it is greater ionization it gives the more number of ions so more number of ions if the number of ions increases then automatically conductance increases then automatically 
conductance increases. So that's why so the more polar compounds having the more conductance when compared to the normal one, when compared to the uh, like uh, non-polar solvents, non-polar electrolytes. Okay, for example, if it having the ethyl acetoacetate or besides that any hexane among these two, ethyl acetoacetate having the more polarity. So that's why, so that having the more conductance when compared to the n hexane, that having more conduct more conductance compared to the n hexane. Now the third factor, viscosity of the medium viscosity of the medium so this is the viscosity of the medium so whenever we have the like two vessels so in case of two vessels we will drop the two kinds separately two kinds separately so here one of the one of the solution having the water another one having the like oil okay so i so whenever the uh, i will drop the one of the kind over the like water it it reaches the bottom point very speedily when compared to the oil vessel. Why? Because here oil having the more viscosity. Okay, viscosity of the medium having the, like uh, it uh, hinders the flow of ions. It hinders the flow of ions. That's why kyan cannot reach the bottom point very uh, more uh, more speed than the water. So here cannot reach the more speed than the water. That means uh, here it hinders the flow of the ions. It hinders the flow of the ions. That's why viscosity of the medium viscosity of the medium increases conductance decreases conductance decreases okay now okay so the fourth factor that is um, like a temperature so here it is the temperature so whenever we have the like a, in a vessel so he's having the solution that is nothing but not the solution here it is the electrolyte okay so in this case electrolyte temperature is 30 degree centigrade temperature that particularly solution that is nothing but electrolyte electrolyte temperature is 30 degrees now besides that here same temp same electrolyte can convert it into like a more temperature that means 70 degree centigrade temperature approximately 70 degrees so that means here we increased the we, we increased the temperature of electrolyte temperature of electrolyte from 30 to 70 it is approximate values so that indicates here the temperature of electrolyte is more if the temperature of electrolyte temperature of electrolyte increased okay now what will happen in case of temperature of electrolyte increased then automatically conductivity conductance increases conductance increases how so if oh, temperature of the electrolyte increases so how it is uh, conductance increases now let us think about it so the first point the kinetic energy of ions will be more kinetic energy of ions will increases so if kinetic energy of ions increases then interionic attractions will be more then interionic attractions interionic attractions will be more so if interionic attractions will increases that means uh, here it lessens the flow of ions if it lessens the flow of ions that indicates uh, viscosity of the medium increases viscosity of the medium viscosity of the medium so these three factors will indicate temperature of the solution increases then conductance also increases these are the four basic factors regarding to the electrolytic conductance okay now let us discuss the final and very important one that is a dilution upon dilution what will happen okay now let us discuss the fifth factor that is dilution so upon dilution conductance will be more or lesser in case of a, like a conductance, a specific conductance, a molar conductance, equivalent conductance. Now let us discuss the each factor upon the dilution, each, each term. So the first of all, conductance. So in particularly, first one is conductance. Okay, so now the conductance means that now here it having the solution. Like here, let us assume here it having the like 10 number of moles. Whenever we will add the sum of the solute, like uh, some of the water molecule, so uh, dilution means add, adding the water. Okay, so now here the solvent molecule will add it. Now the volume will increase the more. Volume increased more. Here 
like uh, ionic density will be more. So volume is increased. So upon a dilution, dilution increases. Now the volume automatically increases. Volume definitely volume automatically increases. If volume is increased, if volume is increased, now what will happen? So the number of ionic mobility is increased. Ionic mobility is increased. If ionic mobility increases, then automatically conductance increases. Then automatically conductance increases. So that is the first factor. So upon dilution, conductance of conductance increases. Upon dilution, conductance increases. First of all, upon the dilution, conductance increases. Conductance increases. Now this is the first thing. Okay. So now here. Here it's having the solution that is nothing but electrolyte. Here two types of electrolytes are there. One is a strong electrolyte and another one is weak electrolyte. Okay. Now we have the electrolytes, two types. One is a strong electrolyte, another one is weak electrolyte. First is weak electrolyte and another one is strong electrolyte. So strong electrolyte means uh, the degree of dissociation is completed. That means, uh, so in case of uh, uh, dilution, before the dilution, it is uh, completely dissociated. Like uh, we have the like AB molecule. So before the dilution, so here it is completely ionized into corresponding compound. Now here it is 100 molecules are there. So here it is completely dissociated. That means 100 and 100. So here the percentage of alpha degree of dissociation is 100 by 100. That means alpha by is equal to 1. So here it indicates complete dissociation. So in case of weak electrolytes, A, B, so A plus B minus, now here it is a strong electrolyte, so here it is the weak electrolytes, here it, it having the 100 molecules, here it, it dissociated into like a half of the molecule or below half of the molecule, 30 molecule, 30 molecule, that means 30 by 100 into 100, that is nothing but 30 percent, here it is the 30 percent only. Here, 30 percent, that means alpha value is equal to 0 0.3, alpha value is equal to 0 0.3. So, weak compounds having the lesser degree of dissociation value, strong electrolytes will having the more degree of dissociation value. That means, strong electrolyte completely dissociated, completely dissociated. So, if completely dissociated, after adding the dil dilution, that means, uh, after adding the water, that indicates the dilution, there is no change, there is, a, there is no abnormal change. Like here, small variation is there. If it is changed, but it is small variation observed upon dilution, upon dilution. Okay. Now, but in case of weak electrolytes, so here cannot completely dissociate it. That means here not complete dissociation. Un incomplete dissociation, simply incomplete. So, in case of incomplete dissociation, now we will add the, these 30 percent of ions and we will add the water molecule. So, the remaining undissociated particles can converted into dissociate, can dissociated into further ions, can dissociated into further ions. If in case of a dilution of weak electrolytes, the number of moles, the number of ions will be more, the number of ions will be more due to the presence of dilution, due to the presence of dilution so that's why so weak electrolytes uh, can vary it can shown the like a long variation it's shown the large variation so large variation observed upon hydrolysis so here we will observe these uh, weak as well as strong electrolytes both will be changed that is increased but strong electrolytes a small variation and weak electrolytes is large variation now in the end of video i'll explain these two in graphically okay now before going to that let us go through the like a uh, second factor that is a specific conductance so in dilution the second thing second term is specific conductance Okay, the first thing is over that is conductance. Upon dilution, conductance is more due to the increase in the volume. Now, the second thing is like a specific conductance, which is nothing but a conductivity. Specific conductance, which is nothing but conductivity, which is shown by the kappa K. So, which is shown by the symbol kappa K. Okay, now what will happen in case of dilution? So, what will happen the specific conductance in case of dilution? Now, here, like here it is the Okay, so this is the like a, a simplest thing. Okay, 
so here one centimeter cube one centimeter width and height now here in particularly these one centimeter one centimeter area okay so in one centimeter area here it having the like a five molecules so let us assume that here it having the five molecules okay now here so before the dilution here this particular area so due to the understanding so uh, like i'll draw the structure of the like a specific area diagram okay upon hydrolysis uh, so upon hydrolysis this is the like a large diagram so here it increased more here it increased more particularly so here it having the five molecules before the di uh, before the before the dilution so whenever after the dilution here among the five molecules one of the molecule will occupies the like a remaining space that means a uh, additional volume additional volume that means here the number of moles the number of ions will be decreased so in case of number of ions decreased per specific area that indicates conductance decreases conductance decreases so that indicates upon a dilution not the conductance specific conductance dilution the specific conductance decreases if dilution increases the specific conductance decreases i think it is clear so so particular area here it having the like five molecules so whenever we will add the sum of the water that is upon dilution it gives the uh, num less number of moles in particular area in particular area there is a particular area which is nothing but specific area so in other words the formula k specific area is equal to conductance into like a cell constant it is x cell constant x so if uh, cell constant increases conductance increases that means uh, these are the like a cell constant which is directly proportional to the like sorry k is equal to c into x here it is the formula okay i don't want to go for that okay so upon dilution specific conductance decreases this is the second point dilution increases k decreases k decreases now what will happen in case of a, like a specific uh, like molar conductance as well as a equivalent conductance molar conductance and the equivalent conductance now let us discuss those two things so here third one is molar conductance molar conductance that is lambda m so equivalent conductance that is lambda e lambda eq so we know that uh, molar conductance is equal to kappa into 1000 by m thousand by molarity so now here lambda equivalent is equal to thousand into kappa by m kappa into thousand or thousand into kappa both are same now here molarity we know that molarity is equal to number of moles by volume number of moles by volume number of moles are furtherly divided into weight by molecular weight i don't want to go for the complete uh, equation now if volume if volume decreases then molarity increases if volume decreases molarity increases if volume increases that means uh, concentration molarity increases molarity increases if volume decrease volume increases molarity increases that means uh, increasing the concentration increasing the concentration that may here volume increases molarity decreases sorry I, i did a mistake okay so here volume decreases molarity increases volume increases molarity decreases molarity decreases if molarity decreases then automatically the numerator term increases that is lambda molar conductance is increases lambda molar conductance increases overall dilution increases dilution increases that indicates volume increases so if volume increases uh, then concentration molarity decreases so if molarity decreases lambda molar conductance molar conductance increases so finally dilution increases molar conductance increases in similar way so here normality is equal to number of moles by volume number of moles by volume if volume increases that means dilution upon dilution volume increases normality decreases normality decreases if normality decreases then lambda equivalent increases so finally dilution increases lambda equivalent increases lambda equivalent increases the third thing is dilution increases lambda molar conductance increases the fourth thing is dilution increases lambda equivalent conductance increases 
So these are the four points which are very helpful for the like future exams. Some some of the questions they are might be asked in like theoretical based questions. Sometimes they are framed the like four options among the four which is correct. So upon dilution, specific conductance increases or decreases. Like a, a lambda molar conductance, whether it increases or decreases, or otherwise they are given in the like different different statements. So among the statement, how many are correct, or which is the true, or which is false? Those type of questions might be asked in this particular topic. Okay, now let us discuss the uh, variation of the strong and weak electrolytes in case of a conductance. So we are missed out in the conductance case. Now let us com uh, complete the, those variations. Now let us discuss uh, upon dilution, conductance of strong and weak electrolytes uh, varied. Both are increased, but strong electrolytes increased a very small variation but weak electrolytes increased a very large variation. Now, how it is happened? How it is happened? So the first thing for strong electrolytes, for variation of the conductance for strong electrolytes. Okay, the scientists, they are observed a strike line, very strike line versus of the conductance of either molar conductance or equivalent conductance versus uh, square root of uh, its concentration, square root of its concentration. So they are uh, plot the graph between the like square root of its concentration versus uh, lambda equivalent or molar conductance, molar as well as equivalent conductance. They are having the, these type of graph. Okay, so they are having the, these type of a strike line, these type of a strike line. So almost all it is a strike line. Okay. So now here these type of graph having the like a, a KCL solution or NaCl solution, those type of solution are barium chloride, such type of solution. So KCL, NaCl are like a potassium chloride, hydrogen chloride, these are the strong electrolytes. NaCl, KCL, these are the strong electrolytes. According to experimental data, so they are shown the these type of strike lines, these type of strike lines here. This is the concentration. So here it is the equivalent conductance. So from left to right, here it is the x-axis. Here it is the y-axis. Now here concentration. So from left to right, that is, that indicates left to right. So automatically left to right concentration decreases. Now concentration started with zero, or uh, now here it is concentration started with zero. 5, 10, like that. Okay, here it is the square value. So, whatever the values, so concentration value will start from the 0 to higher. Okay, from uh, like a right to left, in case of from uh, over to here, like a right to left, from right to left, now what will happen? The concentration decreases. Concentration decreases. We know that dilution increases automatically concentration decreases. Upon dilution, here it is the 1 ml concentration, we will add the 500 ml of water, then it is reduced to the, like a, it is a less than 1 ml concentration. Here, upon adding of the water, here concentration decreases. That means if dilution increases, concentration decreases. So concentration decreases, that indicates a dilution increases. Dilution increases. So if dilution increases uh, automatically molar conductance or equivalent conductance both are increases. Whether it is uh, right or wrong let us check. Now here it is the concentration somewhere value. So let us assume here it may be 10. Let us assume it is not the exact value. So somewhat 10.5, 11, 12.5 that uh, it, it, whether it is uh, like uh, decreasing the concentration concentration decreases then upon increases the dilution. So automatically lambda equivalent value sorry increase the lambda equivalent values are increased that is observed in the like this graphical representation this graphical representation okay according to the like ncrt textbooks like ncrt syllabus here it is the x-axis and y-axis so upon a, a more number of dilution Upon more number of dilution that indicates uh, here it is the like a concentration value, certain concentration, here it is the equivalent value. So some sometimes here concentration decreases from 10 to 5, 5 to 1, like a 5 to 3, 
this is the, the several number of exponents here it is the equivalent conductance here 10 11 12 13 so again we will change it from 2 to 1.5 here it is 13 1, 1.0 here it is 13 okay so whatever the change observed now here the equivalent conductance is not changed the equivalent conductance is not changed those not changed conductance is called infinite dilution infinite dilution or according to the ncrt that is a limiting equivalent conductance limiting equivalent conductance so that limiting conductance is nothing but at zero concentration so almost all concentration zero so here it is the concentration zero will observe those limiting conductance so now this explanation is for the like uh, for understanding of infinite uh, dilution not the zero or uh, less of the concentration okay so here there is no change in the equivalent conductance that indicates here it is the infinite dilution here it is the infinite dilution now here we will observe the limiting equivalent conductance limiting equivalent conductance this is the limiting molar or equivalent conductance molar or equivalent conductance this is the simplest graph so let us assume that here this graph uh, uh, according to the slope intersection formula y is equal to mx plus c here y axis is uh, like lambda m or lambda equivalent here it is the y axis here it is the x axis so x axis is root of c now the intercept is like uh, we observed these in intercept that is nothing but a limiting value that is a lambda m naught okay lambda m naught here the c value so the, this indicates here the down the down the curve down the curve indicates a negative negative slope now here we will observe the negative slope along with some constant so that is the a let us assume here it is the sum of the constant so let us rearrange this equation lambda m naught minus a into root c so this is the equation so from this equation we will plot the graph we will plot the graph this is nothing but a debye huckel on Sagar equation the vehicle on Sagar equation lambda m where it is a molar conductance at any temperature molar or equivalent conductance based on the uh, term which are taken molar conductance at any temperature any concentration not the temperature any concentration lambda m not limiting limiting molar conductance or molar conductance at infinite dilution molar conductance at infinite dilution infinite dilution here c is the concentration a is the de Bechuckel constant or cold rush law constant here it is the constant value so here a is nothing but a slope value a is equal to slope value sometimes they are asking about uh, slope values based on the this type of equation okay now we will observe some of the change over here some of the change but uh, this change is very uh, small variation it is a small variation we didn't get it there like a large change but in case of weak electrolytes we will observe the a large change okay now here it is the kcl so in case of uh, like uh, hcl we will observe the graph over here so both are the same both are the strong electrolytes but here hcl is more why because so here cl cl is common cl minus cl minus is common but h plus and k plus so here h plus having the more ionic mobility that's why it is a strong electrolyte when compared to the kcl when compared to the kcl now we observe the like sodium chloride so sodium chloride is lesser than that of the kcl according to the experimental data we will observe these type of graphs of the like a uh, uh, it is a strong electrolytic conductance strong electrolytic conductance now let us discuss the weak electrolyte so this is the very important uh, problem Now the second one is for weak electrolytes, variation for weak electrolytes. Okay, now in case of a variation of weak electrolytes, the plot square root C versus like lambda molar or lambda equivalent conductance, we will observe the rectangular hyperbola, a rectangular hyperbola. So this is the rectangular hyperbola. Okay, so I think uh, the diagrams. okay so this is the rectangular hyperbola so here from over the concentration decreases the limit like a molar conductance values here observed a very large variation here the molar 
conductance values are equivalent conductance values more and more change more and more variation but in previous case we will observe this type of gap that means here the change is observed this type of minimum so this is the small variation now here in case of weak electrolytes we will observe the change from over to here that is a large variation large variation due to the like what is the reason behind the like this large variation observed in the weak electrolytes so now here a b will give rise to a plus and b minus for weak electrolytes here 100 percent it may be up here disappears like a 30 percent dissociation so after the addition of water molecule here 30 percent dissociation only observed so whenever we will add the sum of the water that indicates uh, upon dilution the remaining undissociated particles can also diluted can also diluted so can also dissociated then here the degree of dissociation will be more degree of dissociation will be more so if degree of dissociation will be more that indicates more number of ions more number of ions so more number of ions lambda equivalent or lambda molar conductances are more so finally dilution increases lambda equivalent or lambda molar conductance will be more and more so dilution increases lambda equivalent as well as lambda molar conductance will be more and more in case of weak electrolytes why because weak electrolytes upon dilution it is further dissociation takes place those dissociation will give the more number of ions so before the like before dissociation here 30 percent in case of a dilution it undergoes the further dissociation here it is more than the 30 percent that indicates a large changes observed large changes observed so it may be used for the, these type of acids okay now here it may be used for the like a uh, acetic acid graph so now in case we will observe the like a uh, formic acid graphs why because formic acid it is more more uh, like a uh, strong acid than that of the formic acid that's why here it is the more concentration value more lambda equivalent value when compared to the acetic acid this is for the weak electrolytes this is for the weak, weak electrolyte finally what we conclude the final things which upon dilution don't go for the remaining things so upon dilution okay so concentration decreases so upon dilution concentration decreases then conductance increases conductance increases so the specific conductance decreases specific conductance decreases lambda equivalent as well as the lambda molar conductance both are increased so this is the final thing so upon dilution that means uh, increases the dilution we will observe these type of changes these type of uh, changes now some of the uh, like uh, some of the curves like uh, these type of equations lambda equivalent as well as la square root uh, of concentration will use the, these type of uh, information like uh, this is the kcl here it is the bacl2 here we observe the light uh, hyperbola like uh, not the rectangular here it is the hyperbola curve in case of nickel sulfate nickel sulfate we will observe the like uh, acetic acid over here okay so before going to that uh, here another problem is the problem that is a uh, another drawback okay here another drawback for the weak electrolytes is so in case of uh, like a strong electrolytes we will observe the like infinite dilution over here that means uh, it is an imaginary line but in case of weak electrolytes we cannot assume uh, the infinite dilution so we cannot find by this method the infinite dilution of weak electrolytes not that point so we cannot find the weak electrolytes equivalent conductance of like a, that means a <coughs> infinite dilution equivalent conductance of weak electrolytes yet infinite dilution yet infinite dilution so this is the drawback of the weak electrolytes in this method okay so these weak electrolyte conductance can calculated by the cold rush law so i'll explain those calculations in next video in next session okay so this is the drawback of the weak electrolytes in case of weak electrolytes we cannot find the like uh, equivalent conductance that is uh, equivalent conductance at infinite dilution we cannot calculate the equivalent conductance at infinite dilution that is the drawback for the variation of the weak electrolytes weak electrolytes that's all for this video this is very useful video regarding to the like uh, any 
competitive exams they are they are might be asked in like a competitive uh, like a theoretical questions on this lecture okay so don't forget uh, these type of lectures it is very helpful for the like a uh, uh, csar gate as well as je mains neat exams okay thank you so much for watching